What's up peeps and welcome back to Sorel Plays and I'm back with a Food Street video. Now we've got so much to talk about today and I'm very excited. We've got the community event and a few new changes that I think we're all happy about. And it just goes to show that Food Street Super Solid do listen. Thank you Super Solid. You have excited me. Right, so let's start with the main thing. So we've got the community event on, it's the summertime event and it is on for just over three days well four days um i kind of have started but i haven't made a lot of points at the moment um so i just wanted to talk about what sort of strategies you can use to whiz through this a little bit quicker now i need to follow my own advice here but basically if you get all the stuff ready this is a uh, up to level six um or from level six that can play and contribute to the event points so it's not difficult to level up to level six so if you're not there yet and you've got a new account go ahead and do that because you will make it um, once you've got the points required to be eligible for this uh, for the rewards then you can whiz through it and if you don't get all the milestones it won't really matter because everybody else playing as a whole community will add up the points and you will still get your rewards. So first thing I wanted to talk about, I mean, I've completed a few orders here, is how we play. So if you are a new player, um, it will direct you straight to this little toaster over here and you will be given some tasks. You've got three tasks and you have to make all the things on these tasks. And as you hit the milestones, you get your own personal prize for hitting those milestones and it will tell you how many points you have to go for the next one. So you'll be asked to make some simple recipes that um, up to a uh, from level six you will have and that's things like the uh, eggy bread, the French toast and if you tap on the question marks it will take you straight to the stove. So what you need to do basically is stock up on mainly milk, cream, and all those sorts of things, eggs. And what my advice would be is to use your second layout as an empty layout like mine is here. And on this left side of the plot, just put the machines and the, you know, the stations and the uh, animals that you need to use for this event. So for example, the spaghetti maker could be on the left side here and all the other machines that you don't need you can move towards the right i'm not going to do all of that now because it will take me far too long and it will be the longest video ever and i don't want to bore you with it so basically what you do is move all of these machines that you don't need if indeed you do have them if you are a higher level and that will give you a little corner over here where your crops would be where you keep your dairy machine and your drink machine. I don't know if that's come up yet. I don't think I've had any drinks requested, apple juices and stuff, so you could keep that over there. And if you do get that, as, you, as and when, basically. So if you keep this area clean and clear and add your stations as you play, um, depending on what you need. So like the pizza oven would have to be over here because we have to make some of these... Uh, mushroom pizzas they take 25 minutes but just like with an event basically you just need to keep making the things you know will be coming up so it's going to be pancakes spaghetti i'll complete some of these orders now the eggs the french toast the cheese so it's all good fun basically if you've got the stuff ready you will be whizzing through those and you shouldn't have a problem with a full fridge because you're completing orders as you go. And I've touched on this subject before about letting food hang over a station. So anything you cook, let it hang over a station. Don't pick it up. Just use these question marks to get to whatever you need and when you need it. So we need to make some pancakes. We need more eggs. And this will lead me to the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is some changes to the market. Now, a lot of people don't have a lot of gems, especially if you started um, this game newly. 
and you can see that here they've got the world refresh button as it was before and then there's a little timer on the side so you can basically refresh your market look through the market it's very fast at the moment if there's anything you need to buy especially for this community event at the moment then you can do so and if you don't want to wait the 10 minutes you need to go in and watch a video so the little blue blue button on the right would be to watch a video and basically refresh your market for free in that space of time where a refresh is not yet available so the refresh is every 10 minutes and if you're desperate for things and you need to keep looking at your market then you can refresh that as many times you want by watching a video now it can be a little bit time consuming but videos are about 30 seconds each so it shouldn't be too much of a problem of course you've still got the um availability of the skipping for two gems if you don't want to watch the video and if you want it to be a little bit quicker then you can always do that so i'm very happy about that change um because it does mean that you don't have to wait the 10 minutes so any time consuming stuff always makes games difficult and if it's going to save you a little bit of time then that's a great idea so we're going to continue with making all this stuff now we've got eggs on at the moment so we can't get the chicken on but that's uh that's okay because it won't take too long so you can stock up again like you do for events you can sell everything in your fridge and make a lot of space to keep the stuff you need for this event um, at the same time we've got chef going on of course and if you are playing chef if you have qualified then you don't really want to sell all your stuff but letting your food hang above your stations is going to help you on that aspect of things so i'm not going to move all this stuff around now to show you but you know as i said sort your corner out with all your crops and only the machines that you need to be efficient at playing this community event right the other thing i wanted to talk about is decorations of course but i'm going to be making a separate video about that because we've just got all the camping stuff and if you want to see what i do with my camping stuff um, you can watch my next video which will be straight after this one and if you continue to the end of this video it will pop up automatically and you can watch it on autoplay let's hope we can get that last reward because that's always a good one so yeah if you tap on the boxes here you can see that there's milestones and once you have qualified um, I just need 85 points more to qualify I'll continue until we do right so the changes um, basically these tabs we've had, we've got an extra tab added which I'm very happy about and this is our functional tab so we've got our animals here and then we've got the magician's hat and that one has all the rest of the functionals so your um, slide will be in there for example and that's another thing we're doing at the moment the slide is back ladies and gents and you've got the opportunity to upgrade it even though you've upgraded if you have upgraded which i have um the last time we had the balloons available the opportunity to collect balloons for the slide so if you go into your slide and restock it you can see how many more balloons you need for each thing it's two more upgrades and you might have seen what the upgrade looks like um, on the community pages of food street and this is it we've got 14 balloons at the moment so the more orders you complete menu orders i'm not sure if takeouts is doing it i'll have to check that one so let's make this takeout and do it i just don't want to qualify for chef at this stage because this event's going to be keeping me busy enough fourth pancakes coming out in a minute so i will quickly sort that out but i'm gonna uh, do the takeout and see if that gives us any points well balls towards our slide so we'll get this last pancake i didn't check how many points that is actually but we'll see in a minute i'm outside today in the garden hopefully there isn't too much uh, background noise so let's complete that one 
then we've got carrots and then bread so it's all pretty simple stuff that you need to make and you just need to make sure that your crops are planted and ready for all the things that you're going to need and just keeping organized will help you through this event and it will be over before you know it so it's good to be able to try and get it sorted before the time comes and you can continue playing after you've got all your milestone prizes um, and if you do comp continue to play it will the points will count towards the community prize and unlocking all of those so by the end of it hopefully we will get the final prize on there as well they are pretty good things that you get so it's definitely worth playing on even after you've completed your personal um, quest let's get some more wheat on now I haven't had any um, chicken soups yet but I'm guessing that is going to come up the chicken broth and we used to have lasagnas but I don't know if they'll be coming up this time I'm actually hoping not because they do take an hour even though I do have a few stocked up just in case so let's complete this takeout and see if we get any balloons for that so let's keep an eye on the top left okay no balloons for takeouts so if you are working towards those balloons for your slide you know takeouts are not going to make any difference to your situation just move me down a little bit and get this bread on now the market is very fast at the moment so you might not even get any bread on there and with this community event going on and chef going on at the same time it's going to prove difficult so just kind of rely on yourself to make all the stuff you're going to need now the pizzas take a while and needing mushrooms is a bit of a pain but you know I don't think they're going to come up that often and you do have the free slots to um, contribute to so if you can't do one immediately you can leave it there all day you could just leave it there forever if you want indefinitely um, it doesn't mean you're not going to qualify for anything and you can still whiz through even with just the two order slots um, being used and being made right we need one more bread that's a few seconds now and then we'll be done let's get that chicken on as well so the fourth chicken's there so the fourth bread is out let's complete this one as well and we have the milestone box coming up and that's five gems brilliant right let's see how many more points we need <clears throat> 45 more points 35 more points and it's bread again but you know we don't mind the bread do we because it's so quick to make so you'll be whizzing through this in no time if it is mainly bread that you're getting on your orders now one of my members messaged me today um, asking if any of us have had um, lattes and breakfasts on the orders but it would be a bit of a nightmare if we needed the breakfast but that is something that I have been told somebody did need breakfast so we're just going to get more of this bread on right now to get the rest of the points so let's have a look at the points now we've got we also get stars for these so you know xp leveling up it's all going to help you to achieve that coins are always low on these community events but do get the points that you need so that's the main thing so 10 points for the bread uh 16 points for four chicken and 40 points for two pizzas i think the pizzas is slightly low because it does take you oh and we've got a mastery star as well full i've got all three and i've unlocked an achievement great very happy about that so our cream's been added to the mastery stars i've got the one for the ice cream I need a lot more for the yogurt the cheese has been unlocked need a few more for the butter 221 more for the butter oh my god that's a hell of a lot right one more bread coming out in a minute 
We just need that last chicken. Let's go back on the market and see if we can find one. That would be handy. So let's refresh. Pancakes are a handy one to buy, but it's not really too important to get those because they're so quick and easy to make. So, yep, one more bread and then we're on our way with that one. Twenty-five more points. We've got a pancake ready. Let's get a few more on. Fifteen points more. We need to plant some cabbage. I kind of, I mean carrots. I kind of forgot about that. Fifteen minutes for the carrots. Not too bad. Let's check what Stella's selling me today as well. Okay, I'll buy all of that. Don't want to fill my fridge up, but I do tend to buy what she sells because it is always cheaper than what you get on the market. Chicken, 10 minutes. That's The mastery stars are unlocked on there as well. So if you can concentrate on doing those mastery stars, it does reduce the time a little bit. I think chicken was 12 minutes before. Eggs were three minutes. So I've unlocked both of those, which is very handy. So just keep, while you're on here, just keep making the bread and everything else. Right, MasterChef, achieve three stars on ten recipes. And we've done that. Wow. Brilliant. Thank you for the gems. So as usual, I always advise to make some other stuff to free up space. And keep the apple juices flowing as well, just in case. So, one more chicken, six of these carrots. Keep the cabbage rolling as well, that one's really important. It kind of plays a main part on a lot of stuff. And how's this pizza coming along? Let's have a look. Nine minutes to go for that, but we are waiting for mushrooms, so we can't really do that one yet. So do all the easiest stuff first. And in the background, just cook the stuff that takes longest to cook. That way you don't feel impatient waiting for it because you are still making progress while you do wait for it. So if you wanted to make some bread, for example, all you've got to do is tap on some cornbread in your menu and then put another bread on to avoid picking up the rest of the bread. We might need some tomato soups. So we'll get a few of those on as well. They don't take too long to make, but it does keep your pantry low. And all the rest of it. I made some meat just in case these lasagnas do come up. So trying to stock up beforehand is always going to help you here. So we're just going to complete this last 15 points, which will be the carrots and the chicken. And then I can get on with doing my decorating video. And give you some inspiration and some ideas, hopefully, so that you can... Uh, Decide what way you want to go decorating your campsite. Now, it could, you know, it kind of feels a bit like what do you really put in a campsite? It's just going to be mud and grass. But, you know, you could think of all different ideas. It doesn't have to be strictly a campsite. I've got an idea and I, that's what I'm going to go with. As soon as this video is finished, I will be recording that one and hopefully it will help you. Right, so we've got a chicken ready. So we can complete this order now. 16 points and we have unlocked our badge. So let's check what the next things are. Right, so we've got the um, fish float as the mystery box in the middle. And it's not going to tell us what the um, mystery milestone prizes are on the other bits but let's just check for the um, community rewards next and it should tell us what we will be receiving if we unlock all the milestones as a community yep here it is so we've got the next one is going to be the free saws and then there's a mystery box with the summer flower planter and then the final prize is the 15 gems and then it will tell you how many points left to um, get the next reward. So 
to get the saws next this is the amount of points we need each time you get one of these new rewards when you reach the milestone it will tell us how many points you need for the next one now as far as i remember ah uh, here's the apple juices i suspected and they've come up as far as i remember we have never failed to get the final prize but i do remember there was a problem with the points and for some reason even though we made it we ended up not getting the final prize and there was a bit of an uproar about that so hopefully that doesn't happen this time and that's it that's all i've got to say on the community event so good luck with it guys just enjoy it you'll breeze through it you know you can come on and off um, stock up and come back on and that way you don't have to wait for every single thing to be cooked separately but it is generally easy things that are being asked of you so it shouldn't be too bad okay thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next video